everyone, I'm Weijia Jiang, coming to you from our Washington, D.C. Bureau. It's good to be with you, and thanks for joining us. Here's a look at some of the stories we are watching right now. With stiffer-than-expected Ukrainian resistance, Russia is increasing its attacks on civilian targets. Ukrainian officials say the death toll has reached 2,000. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is reaffirming that NATO is still not prepared to commit to military action to defend Ukraine. Plus, Judge Katanji Brown-Jackson is on Capitol Hill today. She met separately with Senate leaders Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell, as well as others. Judge Jackson's Supreme Court confirmation hearings are set to begin on March 21st. And President Biden is hitting the road to sell his domestic agenda after his State of the Union. While his poll numbers are still well under 50 percent, polling for his social and economic spending plan remains high. Plus... Inflation is too high. It's, we understand that and you know, we're working on it. It's going to take some time. The latest on the administration's efforts to curtail rising prices hitting millions of American households. And later this hour, the results from Texas's primary vote are in. An FBI investigation, several runoff races and a last minute affair causing a leading candidate to pull out. We have all the latest from the Lone Star State. But first, we start on Capitol Hill, where Democrats are looking at a reset after President Biden's speech and a possible path forward to passing some elements of 